Hello everybody, I had just finished shuffling. The cards this reading is gonna be for Virgo. Thank you for stopping by at Positive Kings and Queens Tarot Cards. Um, I also have an Amazon store called Tamar Candles. If you would like to purchase some spiritual candles, I have them in different flavors. Also, I have Shaka beads and Shaka chains, if you are interested. Okay, you guys? Oh, and also, I want to tell you guys, I will be on BET TV show. And I'll tell you guys all about the TV show, what day I'm going to be on BET, and when to follow. Okay? So, that's the most exciting news that I have so far. I ain't hit the number yet. That's what I'm, I was hoping for, praying for. But, hey, I'm going to keep on praying. It might be answered one day. But right now, the good news is I will be on BET. And I get a little more exposure, more followers, meet new people, and grow this channel. This channel going to grow. I really believe so. Okay, you guys, I shuffle. Wait, let me, did I move the bottom? This is like shuffle. Okay, we're going to leave it at that. No, this is too ghetto. We're going to leave it at that. It was getting a little too dead ghetto. Oh, my God, bad hair day. Once again, this card, Virgo. Let me turn this TV down, and please excuse the dryer. I got my dryer on. My daughter wanted her blankie dry before she take a nap. So bad hair day. So somebody having a bad hair day. I spoke about this three days ago. It's time for you to go get your hair done, Virgo. Time to get that hair done. New furniture. Somebody thinking about purchasing some new furniture. Somebody thinking about visiting Mexico. Or going to Cancun on a vacation, family trip, or a friend trip, friends, planning a uh, trip for the summer, the art museum, you could be planning the trip, and you also could be making ex uh, what they call excursions, like when you um, go on a trip and you um, put the things down where you want to visit, they probably want to go visit the Mayans. Um, in Mexico that is like art museum you could be eating at the fast food restaurant the uh, in Mexico or any uh, r resort area you could be in Jamaica Trinidad Guyana um, you could be anywhere in a uh, somewhere warm like a warm climate you are my life someone um, feels that you are their life it could be anybody. It could be your mom, your dad. It could be your boyfriend, um, your husband. Someone feels like you are my life. I promise that I will always try to make you ridiculously happy. Oh, somebody want to make you extremely happy, ridiculously happy. Let me say it in that phrase. Because that's how I wrote it. Ridiculously happy. I mean, like, so much joy. So much fun. Adventurous, I'm getting. Um, just a lot of laughter. A lot of joy. And then we have the Eight of Coins. Which is the Eight of Pentacles. Learning all you can about a subject or career. Going back to school, somebody could be doing. Somebody could be taking up a semester. Um, applying... Um, your shared determination and concentration to master the skit, the new skill that you are learning. So someone is planning on mastering a skill. Someone is working on their pinnacle. Someone is working on a money. Someone is thinking of ways to accumulate more money and fast too. I know I am. Sex and um, sexy and muscular. So either you dealing with someone that's sexy and muscular, or you um, fantasizing is what I'm getting about someone sexy and muscular. 
or you could be interested in someone that is sexy and muscular and that person got your eye. Go for it, Virgo. Go for it. You only got one life, girl. Sleeping next to you felt so good. You smell so good. This person find you to be attractive, sexy, soft, body soft, smell good, and they love laying next to you. Someone biting their nails. So if somebody is biting their nails, which is a bad habit. People do that all the time, bite their nails. It's a bad habit. People bite their nails. People do all types of stuff, you know, when they're nervous. Or it could be a ch bad childhood, um, what we call a bad childhood habit. You know, some people suck their thumb. Me, I like to, like, I got to have something to, like, scratch on. Like, my hand got to be, like, moving. I don't know. You know, that's a habit. Okay, something going to happen in the fall, autumn time. I don't know what we might find out. Either you might be going to Mexico in the fall or you might meet this sexy muscular person in the fall. Okay, eagle. The illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness, addictions or unhealthy habits once again another habit double confirmation the ego the ego could be a bad habit you understand not accepting responsibility you know walking around like you the, got a chip on your motherfucking shoulder um not trying to resolve situations just making more problems um not supporting your path to a happiness you got bad addictions or you unhealthy habits unhealthy habits when I was saying biting the nails or you could be doing things that's sucking your thumb you could be doing something that's a bad habit you understand a bad habit be strong be fearless be beautiful and believe that anything is possible when you have the right people there to support you. <clears throat> Correct. Anything is possible when you got the right people on your team. Why? Because they keep pushing you towards positive things. They keep installing positive thoughts in your head. Energy. Giving you the strength to do whatever you choose to do. Feeling loved by you, my favorite place to be. It was meant to be. Not seeing eye to eye, not on the same page. Someone you not seeing eye to eye with, and you guys are not on the same page. And it's somebody you was meant to be. Feeling loved by you, my favorite place to be. The one who doesn't tell you what you want to hear but tells you what you need to hear, keep that person around. The person that's not trying to, you know, head gas you. Person who's keeping it real with you. The one who doesn't tell you what you want to hear, but this person tells you what you need to hear. Tell you to go back to school, go get your GED, go get your high school diploma. Those things is not bad things if somebody telling you something that's going to elevate and benefit you. Anytime somebody tell you to go back to school to do whatever you need to do for you, that's to better you. So that way when you, no, so that way you can be independent and not reliable on others. You know, you can take responsibilities for your own actions and your own situation, making better choices that support your path to happiness. You know, cutting out addictions and unhappiness unhealthy habits like smoking drinking things of that nature you see me i'm smoking now that's a this is an unhealthy habit i have how i see it i'm gonna smoke it till i crow you know that's my choice that's what i want to do i want to smoke it till i crow and if god allow me to smoke all the way to 100 then so be it but i really don't care too much 
you know, I'm just feel like I'm gonna live my life. I don't care what nobody say. Even if I have dead, I'm still gonna live my life. Some women won't date a man who's still living at home with his mom, but will date a man who still lives with his wife. But that's none of my business. <laughs> oh shit. Somebody gonna ask you, will you marry them? The weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. These are the messages, you guys, for today. Take a walk in the park daily. So I know it's freezing. Somebody wrote, <laughs> it's cold out there. Who's going to be walking out there? But guess what? Take a walk anyway. You understand? Because I noticed by me sitting in this house, now when I do try to walk, I'm getting shortness of breath. And I had to tell my doctor why my heart is speeding up while I'm walking. And he was like, that's because I'm not exercising. I'm not moving. So now when I do go to move, you know, I usually just get in my vehicle and just drive off. No, I got to take walks every day. So this message definitely relates to me and what me and my doctor was talking about, me taking a walk every day. And it's to help me and build up, you know, my energy. All right, y'all. Texas is back out. This is where Texas is back out. If Texas letting us know, don't forget about me. <laughs> I ain't forgetting about you, Texas. Flat tire need side road assistance. Somebody gonna catch a flat tire. Um, you're gonna need roadside assistance. If you don't have any, get AAA. I paid $48 for the year. AAA been in my life for almost 20 years. I love AAA. Comma says mouth can't lie, eyes cannot. People may forget, comma will not. Somebody gonna catch comma for some shit that they ain't gonna see coming to them. Whatever this comma coming from is coming from people forgetting about comma. And it's saying, don't forget about comma because comma come back around. Comma says mouth can lie, eyes cannot. So the comma ain't going by what you're saying out of your mouth. Comma goes by what they see. So that means whatever the universe, whatever the angels, whatever the gods see, they're going to determine if you if you deserve comma or not. Comma will not. See, people may forget. Comma will not. See, comma is like a spiritual being. That's like speaking of something that you can't see. Comma is like something you can't see that's coming your way. You understand? That's like speaking of the next room. We're talking in a dimension area now when we speak of comma because no one knows when comma coming for them. You understand? Karma come from you for all types of shit. And I know about karma. I learned about karma when I was a little girl. I remember, I, I'll tell you the story. It's a little deep because I did a lot of rough shit. So I know what the karma means. A marriage without friendship is like a bird without wings. That is true. That's like, where you going? You ain't going nowhere. Going out to eat. You going out to eat at a fast food restaurant. Love like there's no tomorrow and if tomorrow comes, love again. All right, you guys. One bad relationship could make you never want to fall in love again. And that is the truth. The last card, you guys, is New York City on top. And I'm gonna take this one for the run. If you don't get serious about your money, you will never have serious money. This is a message. So somebody on my board could either be coming from New York to go to Mexico or from Mexico to New York is what we have. Or you could be traveling to Texas. So we got three states, Mexico. I mean, well, Mexico, we know ain't a state it's supposed to be a country, but it is a part of the United States. Mexico, New York, and Texas. Or it could be any other state. This person, um, when you go to this other state, you need to um, visit the museums. Um, check out the city. Search for um, public information. Um, take a daily walk when you get out there. Someone going to ask you to marry them. Somebody is promising that. 
they will always love you and try to make you ridiculously happy somebody um wants you to know that you know they don't um they fallen in love with you again i don't care about your past i want to be your future this person don't care about your past they sexy and they muscular you understand Someone you're not seeing eye to eye with. Someone you is not on the same page with. You understand? Somebody feel you all they like. Sleeping next to you feels so good. Um, the right people are supporting you. If you don't um, get serious about your money, your money ain't going to get serious with you. The one who doesn't tell you what you want to hear but tells you what you need to hear, that's the one you should marry. A marriage without uh, um, without a friendship is like a bird without wings. So make sure this person is your friend before you even think about marrying them. And it might happen in the fall time. Okay, you guys, I'm going to leave this out. And it was meant to be for you guys to be together. And this person could still be living at home with their mama or they could be living at home with their wife. All right. And they don't give a fuck about your past. And when you guys move, y'all getting some new furniture or you redoing your house over. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you guys got the message. And I'm going to end this off, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Have a great night, and enjoy your evening. I mean, well, enjoy your night, because it's 7.04 7 p.m. at this time. And I'm watching over. Oh, my God, y'all. I got to tell y'all about this one. Over. Um, Tyler Perry show. Oh, my God. The, pre the first lady, y'all, she got me on the floor. You know what she she so she he he said man <laughs> I can't stop laughing. He said, Man, your son died. She was like, and what you telling me for? She said the little motherfucker should have died a long time ago when I had his motherfucking ass. <laughs> Yo, I can't stop laughing cause that shit was so real. That was some real shit because <laughs> That was some real shit. How you gonna say you wish your child died from the from the time that motherfucker was born? And the sun is fucked up in the head, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. That little nigga, I probably would have chopped him up ten times already. I, I think I would have been a little worse than the mama. I would have threw his ass off the cliff some fucking way. No, because the Bible tell you. That's why I told you these pastors don't be really preaching. That Bible said when people back in those days in the village, when a child was bad and destroying, the, you know, the community, they will, the people in the, in the village would come together to punish that child. And the punishment would be throw his ass off the motherfucking cliff. So that's what they did. The bad children back then, they killed their asses. I'm not, um, y'all. I know we changed. We came a long way. That Bible is strict. The Most High is strict. He feels like if you a child and you talk back to your parents, death. I, I swear to you not, y'all. God feel like no child should talk back to their mother or father. They shall honor their mother and father as long as they live on the face of this earth. And if you disrespect your mother or father, they have the right to what? destroy you, take you out of this earth. The same way they brought you into the earth, they had, God gave them the right to take your ass out of here. Now, man won't pass that law for us. I bet you it'll be a lot of dead motherfuckers. <laughs> they ain't gonna pass that law, y'all. But if the United States ever passed that law off the Bible, Lord, a lot of kids gonna be fucked up. <laughs> I don't mean to be laughing like that, but that oval really got me because I ain't never seen no shit like this. But the son, to me, y'all, I really feel like he really need to get it. Look, he on that. He is terrible. He killed his own grandma. <laughs> Come on, who kills grandma? Nobody kills. Everybody loved their grandma. You know what I'm saying? 
And if he would have killed my grandma, oh man, I would have chopped his ass up, y'all. My grandmother, I ain't gonna lie. No kid come before granny. <laughs> oh man, anyway, I'm gonna cut this short. Um, you guys have a good night and thanks for stopping by at Positive Kings and Queens. Definitely appreciate you guys and make sure you hit a like and subscribe and come join us. Okay, bye, good night. <laughs>